Hi, my name is Ana Andrea, and today I'm going to share with you golden nuggets on how you can structure your story so you can sell anything. I mean anything. Don't worry about um, what you what your service or your product is. This applies to everybody. Now, have you noticed that leaders and salesperson and you know, um, successful people, and I say successful because um, success is very relative for everybody has a different definition for it. Um, they evoke empathy and compassion and they tell you their struggles and they tell you how they got there and then you're involved and you're feeling the same emotions, you know, because they're conveying them because when they're honest because let's let's be real, we can totally tell when people are BSing us, right? So when you hear all these things, don't you just want to buy whatever they're selling? I do. I mean, seriously, if the story is so good and everything they're telling me is honest and true, I'm in. I'm sold. But that might be me. I, you know, I like to say yes. I like to say yes to opportunities. I like to say yes to new products. I like to try things because you never know if I if you'll find the next great thing right there. So let me give you um, 11 tips. Uh, our leader, Vitaly Dublin, showed us um, on a webinar, a hangout about two weeks ago, I think, um, about how you can structure, structure your story so you can be successful at selling it. So the first thing you have to do is introduction, obviously. Your first sentence should contain a keyword that relates to the audience that you're targeting. Um, you Number two, you have to evoke empathy, what I was telling you, and compassion that relates to them specifically by talking about your struggles and your experience. Talk about their problems and how you can solve them, how, what, how you have the solution to their problems. But be brief. Tell them a reason why they should be listening to you or reading your story. Be very compelling. Uh, number four, you tell them that you're going to share with them tips and give them advice on how you got to where you are already. Like, for example, me, um, I tried this hypnotic story structure on my fan page for my my network marketing company in Spanish, and I, tr I started it on Friday, no, Thursday, the 31st of December, and I've been talking for at least 20 to 30 people a day with this way of marketing my business. It's amazing. It's mind-blowing. So let me wrap it up here quick. Um, um, so after you tell them um, that you're going to share with them tips and give them advice, number five is transitioning into telling your personal story that relates to your niche. So be relatable and be honest, and but do it strate strategically. Don't just Say things for saying them. Be strategic with a purpose. Now, talk about your struggles, your failures, your frustrations. Um, also, how and when you got started, um, how you didn't have any experience, how you learned in the process. You know, relate to people. Don't just say that you're the expert of everything and you know everything because people don't like um, arrogance. Like, your pails. <laughs> By step number seven, you have to be pre-framing them for what it is you want to offer them and then share with them tips and action steps they can take that actually helped you to solve your problems and then pre-frame them to attract the perfect customer. Number nine, tell them that they can expect big changes in their life if they follow your tips and guidance. Um, and give them an invitation to be mentored by you, for example, if you're doing coaching or if you're doing, if you're a fashion guru and you want to uh, mentor people so they can dress better, for example, or if you're a real estate agent and you want to um, help people find their perfect house, you can mentor them to find their needs. Give them a call to action um, to comment below if you like the video. 
uh, write a personal message and resonate with them. And the number 11 is the most important one. Tell them that you are actually going to respond to that message, that you're going to connect with them personally. Because who doesn't want to be, you know, in contact with a p person you admire? This is going to help you more than it's going to help them at the end. Remember, don't look at people with a dollar sign in their, ha in their head because we're all human and we all... Um, deserve respect. So when you get that out of your mind, when you get the money out of your mind, and you actually want to help, you know, your clients and your customers and your partners to build their goals and their dreams, your goals and your dreams are gonna, they're gonna just come. And that's what I wanted to share today to you today. My golden nuggets uh, for why storytelling is the most important in sales and conversion. And don't forget to comment below if you liked what I shared and share it on Facebook. If Remember, if you like it, share it because sharing is caring. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.